Nemblo mi em Rosa. Nambi mi biru mama. Mi no sa walk. Mi sa walk in biru na mi sa kari koro biru market na mi sa sare. Lo biru market mi kare biru na goputi. I no sa mtim lo oke da time mi ve kisim biru. O se wan plade ra ki mi kisim mi sa baze tim gutru na mi sa. And me plus I sit down the bureau market and I help me plow go through. Bureau me help me plow. No buy me school fee, blow me blow me plow. I help me needs blow all. I help me plow yet. Most of these women have not been to school. No, that's right. Uh, and it's hard, I think, for a person who hasn't had those experiences or a, a woman who hasn't had those experiences to be confident in, um, in the global in the global marketplace where um, these products. When we're talking about the billums, we know that they're beautiful products, um, beautifully produced. But we also know that these women aren't making the sort of money they should be making and that their time isn't being um, recouped in terms of an investment. So this is a great opportunity for them um, to get uh, to find their voice, I think, in, the, in that sense. And bringing the market to them and helping that develop um, is really important. They're wonderful products. Um, they represent history and culture. And they can also now represent the future in terms of economics and, um, and in terms of health and education and the economic opportunities for women. Billum is this hand-woven, high-end product out of PNG, and these bags are beautiful. Um, we know there's a market for it internationally. Uh, lots of women would like to buy these bags. So our methodology is to identify uh, high-end international buyers that are interested in this product. Uh, we work backwards from the buyer and uh, manufacture billum here on the specifications of the buyer. And uh, uh, in the process, we coach the weavers uh, in uh, making uh, billum to a certain quality and standard. And this guarantees us that what the um, uh, billum weaver uh, prepares will have a buyer. This is crochet raffia. This is like you, they probably take one week to make, to prepare and make the hat and they go to market and sell. So it's a very similar, similar setup to what you have here in Garoka. It's really exciting for me to be able to be involved with the Billum Project and share my skills with the women and offer them some training support in how to make, how to interpret Billum into headwear product and to advance their skills. For me, the Billum Project has been a great uh, learning opportunity to date because I can't believe that Papua New Guinea is so close to Australia, yet these women are living a life of poverty and the Billum is their creative expression and if we can make their lives easier by offering some technology to help improve the pace with which they can produce the billum, then we're really advancing the lives of these women to improve their communities, their families and their livelihoods. With those experts, if you come and you teach our women and uh, put them to another level to come up with uh, something that's acceptable abroad, I have been to some nations and I see if there's anything that's like my billum, but there's nothing. The solution here is to make sure that through a transparent system, the money comes back to the weaver. And finally, Rosa will be paid for her labor, for her time. And that's the role of the ITC. That's ITC in action. And I guess until we have not done this properly, we won't quit. We will help Rosa and her colleagues here.